1914 to 1918, also known as World War I, was a time of cruelty. It was a time when millions of soldiers and civilians lost their lives, and Marx is one of the darkest chapters in humanity. With the death toll being just less than 20 million, this war has left a huge mark on the entire world. In fact, every person in Europe at that time would have lost someone close to them during the war, whether it be innocent civilian or a soldier killed in action. Everyone played their part in the war and died for the future of their country. And that is why we shall never forget them, mostly out of respect for them, but also so we don't make the same mistake as well. Just like we tapped into the rewarding parts of our brain, we should also tap into the passionate parts of our brain, and turn anger into something nice. Because if passion made the atom bomb, then can it make, I don't know, a solution to climate change? It's definitely something to think about. This is a letter from my great-great-grandfather. It was written towards my great-grandfather, who was nine at the time. He had previously volunteered to be a soldier, and wrote this letter deep within British trenches. He talks about life on the front line, the horrible condition in the trenches, and the people who fought alongside him. The sad thing is, it looks like he's trying to be strong for his son, and writes the letter in a nice light-hearted tone for him. You can pause here if you want to read the whole letter. Shortly after writing the letter, Charles Harrison became one of the 300,000 British troops that lost their lives at the Battle of the Somme, and was also one of the 70,000 soldiers whose bodies were never recovered. World War I was without a doubt one of the most terrible things to happen to humanity, but like poppies blooming on battlefields, it gave people perspective on other things like women's rights. When all the men went to war, women had to fill in a lot of the jobs. This showed that women could do the same jobs as men, and therefore should be treated the same as men. But unfortunately their jobs were taken away after the war, due to all the soldiers coming home. This sparked an uproar in the suffragette community. They wanted things to go back to the way they were, with them working. So they started another war. Just kidding. It may have not been a war, but it was definitely something, with thousands of women voicing their opinions with protests. They didn't just want upper class women to have rights, they wanted all women to have rights. And after a decade of fighting, they finally all got the vote. In conclusion, remembrance is a very important thing. From remembering all of those who died because of war, to thinking about the good things that sprouted from the ashes of it. Every soldier, nurse, or even civilian was at incredible risk because of war. And every single one of them helped to preserve society, even if it meant being killed or seriously injured. These acts of extreme selflessness paved the way for society as we know it today.